Self-propelled anti-tank systems are one of the most mass-produced and sought-after high-precision weapons. They gained their popularity during the Second World War, but even today they're still in service in different parts of the world. On the surface, they're not the most formidable enemies, which is a machine on tracks or wheels equipped with a cannon or missile. They can destroy an armored enemy in a second. And today I'll tell you about the top 10 most effective anti-tank missile carriers in history. This is Military News. Let's go. And we start with the Chinese anti-tank missile carrier called HJ-9, AFT-9. It started its history in the 80s of the last century, but the general public was presented only at the parade in 1999. The combat vehicles positioned as an all-weather, all-surface third-generation complex, which was developed by Norinco, China North Industries Corporation. The units designed based on Chinese armored vehicle WZ-551, which has a specialized turret with four rails for missile launches and an eight-cylinder diesel engine, BF-8L-413F. German company Deutz, HJ-9 can reach up to 95 kilometers an hour and cover about 800 kilometers without refueling. It's equipped with a WMD, Weapons of Mass Destruction, an automatic fire extinguishing system, and a centralized tire inflation system. Chinese complex is notable for its durability and even on a punctured tire can overcome about 100 kilometers. As for the weapons, we can see the guided missile Hongjian Red Arrow, which can attack the target at a distance of 100 to 5,500 meters and pierce up to 200 millimeters of steel armor. Such a range of missiles is provided by a laser guidance system. It's complemented by thermal imaging sight that can detect targets at ranges up to 4 kilometers and identify them at ranges up to 3 kilometers and a periscopic optical sight which allows the vehicle to be used even in mountainous terrain. Next in line is the 9P148 known as the Competition. Its history began over 40 years ago at the Tula KBP Instrument Design Bureau as a modernization of the FAGO project. This two-seat Soviet system was based on the BRDM-2 Armored Reconnaissance and Patrol Vehicle 2. It's equipped with a domestic GAZ-41 engine, providing a speed of 95 kilometers an hour and a range of 750 kilometers. The vehicle is armed with guided missiles, 9M111-2 or 9M113, which can hit mobile targets moving at a speed of 60 km an hour, as well as stationary targets like bunkers at a distance of 75 to 4,000 meters. According to the statements of the designers, conkers can penetrate up to 600 millimeters of armor. The cabin's equipped with two observation devices, an optical sighting device, a radio, and a tank intercom. The complex has gained wide popularity not only in its homeland, but also in some countries in Europe, the CIS, and the Middle East. Another interesting but more modern Russian development bears the gentle name of Chrysanthemum. Perhaps the best project of the great Soviet designer Sergei Pavlovich Nepobedemy was based on the BMP-3 chassis with a two-man crew. The vehicle carries a set of 15 9M123 supersonic missiles and is capable of firing up to four such missiles at a distance of up to 6,000 kilometers per minute. Independent targeting systems allow the missile to hit two targets simultaneously, piercing 1,100 to 1,200 millimeters of armor. The unit is capable of moving from stowed to firing so fast, there's even a joke among the military that the chrysanthemum blooms in just 20 seconds. The complex is equipped with a Soviet four-stroke diesel engine, UTD-29, and can cover about 600 kilometers without refueling. On difficult, rugged terrain, the vehicle can travel at a speed of up to 45 kilometers per hour, but on the highway it can reach up to 70 kilometers per hour. A millimeter range radar station, complemented by a semi-automatic laser beam guidance system, was installed as the main target detection and tracking equipment. Although the chrysanthemum is not the latest development of the Russian Air Force, it still occupies an important place in ground units. The next model, still Russian-made, was designed based on the reflex complex from which it took the best. We're talking about the Cornet D 9K135 created by the Tula Design Bureau and presented to us in 2011. The two-seater is based on the new multi-purpose wheeled chassis Tiger GAZ2975 but at first sight, it can be confused with the usual regular car. 
This fighting vehicle can carry 16 missiles, 9P-163M1, eight of which are in reserve. Each is capable of penetrating 1,300mm armor at a distance of 10,000 meters. And the rate of fire of Cornet D reaches three rounds per minute. The launcher includes a sight capable of operating in optical and infrared modes, a laser rangefinder, an optical laser device, and a target tracking machine with guidance actuators. More than 10 countries have Russian-made cornets in their arsenals to date. It's noteworthy that even Turkey and Jordan, which usually rely on Western models for their purchases, are on this list. The American models are not inferior to the Russian ones. The M1134, or simply put, the Striker, may be a worthy competitor to the previously mentioned missile carriers. The M1134 ATGM is based on the armored M1126 ICV. Its armor can stop 14.5mm bullets of large caliber machine guns and shells of 30mm cannon. The crew consists of three crew members and nine paratroopers. It includes a central tire inflation system, NBC protection system, and automatic fire suppression systems. In addition, it has a battlefield information management system, which links the carrier with similar vehicles and command posts. The vehicle is powered by a Caterpillar diesel engine, giving it a speed of 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, and a range of 500 km, 300 miles. The missile-carrying vehicle is capable of destroying a variety of threats at a range of up to 4 km, with 15 BGM-71 tow missiles of later modifications. These projectiles can penetrate up to 900 mm steel armor. For self-defense, the M1134 has a 7.62 mm machine gun mounted above the commander's hatch. U.S. soldiers who were able to try this machine in Iraq noted its reliability and ease of operation. Another U.S. development worth mentioning is the M901 ITV. This self-propelled APC based on the M113 track armored personnel carrier was put into service back in 1979. Its compact size makes it very mobile and can be carried aboard C-130 Hercules-class aircraft. The crew of 12-ton M901 consists of four people. Its range speeds are in no way inferior to those of modern MBTs. The turret launcher allows tracking and hitting enemy objects both in the daytime and at night while rotating 360 degrees in 10 seconds and going up to plus 34 degrees and down to minus 30 degrees. In addition, the turret can be used as a ground anti-tank unit. The M901 ITV is armed with 12 M220 tow-guided missiles, a 7.62mm machine gun, and two M243 quad-mounted smoke grenade launchers that can be used to cover its maneuvering capability on the battlefield. The main disadvantage of the device can be called the inability to attack while on the move. But despite this, this complex is listed in the armies of various countries around the world, although it's noteworthy that the United States themselves still removed it from service. No less effective can be considered the Israeli para-guided missile launcher. Interestingly, the vehicle has been in the IDF inventory since the 1980s, but only recently, in 2015, did the country's leadership officially recognize its existence. The missile-carrying vehicle is based on the chassis of the upgraded MAGA-5 tank. It's equipped with 12 spike launchers, which are considered one of the best in the world. Interestingly, the fighting vehicle is an over-the-horizon combat vehicle, meaning it can attack targets even beyond the limits of visibility. And the maximum distance at which it can fire is 25 kilometers. It's worth mentioning separately the usual form of para, which has a moulage barrel designed to camouflage the vehicle and confuse the enemy. In addition, the rocket launchers here are retractable. As long as they're hidden, the missile tank is no different from a conventional tank. Over the past 25 years, the para has been involved in probably every Israeli Defense Force operation, including the 2006 Lebanon War and the Gaza War. However, it was withdrawn from service in 2017. The next complex, the work of Canadian engineers, namely General Dynamics Land Systems, the LAV-25 light armored vehicle, was developed specifically for the U.S. Marine Corps in the 1980s. The LAV-25 is based on the Moog Piranha 1 armored vehicle and is powered by a diesel engine, 6V53T Detroit, with all-wheel drive and a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour, 62.5 miles per hour. In addition, the vehicle is capable of navigating on water. 
The crew consists of three people, the commander, gunner, and driver, and four passengers, scouts, with combat equipment. The fire control system includes a laser rangefinder and a combined targeting site. And the ammunition of the missile carrier includes 16 missiles, TOU or TOU-2. By the way, from the disadvantages, the reloading of the launcher is done manually. In addition to the LAV-25 missiles come the 25mm M242 Bushmaster autocannon, two 7.62mm M240 machine guns, and two four-barrel smoke grenade launchers located in the front left and right sides of the turret. The LAV-25 has an honorable combat record. It made its debut during the invasion of Panama in 1989 and has since been supplemented by wars in the Persian Gulf, Iraq, and Afghanistan. To date, the LAV is scheduled to remain in service with the Marine Corps until 2035. The Soviet Shaturm anti-tank missile system, capable of engaging not only large armored targets, but also enemy manpower, field fortifications, and even low-speed, low-flying aerial targets, helicopters, UAVs, is next in line. The history of Sturm started at Kalama Design Bureau in the 70s. Ten years later, it joined the ranks of the Soviet Army and proved itself excellently during military campaigns in Afghanistan and Chechnya. The combat complex was produced in three variants, self-propelled Shaturm S for the ground forces, helicopter-based Shaturm V for the Air Force, and ship-based Shaturm LK for the Navy. It can reach 65 kilometers an hour and go up to 500 kilometers without refueling. Among the missiles of this vehicle are the supersonic 9M114 Koken equipped with a radio command guidance system as well as the 9M120 Attacka developed on their basis with a range of up to 8,000 meters and 9M121 with a combined radio command and laser beam control system. The projectiles can hit the target at altitudes of up to 3,000 meters. An important feature of the system is the dust combat mode, which allows the missiles to be launched along the line of sight as well as along the trajectory above it. This allows the operator, regardless of weather conditions and other factors, to always see the target. Ah yes, for its considerable service life, Storm has managed to please many foreign partners and is now in service in more than 20 countries around the world. The American Self-Propelled Air Defense Missile System ADATS, Air Defense Anti-Tank System completes our list. It's developed by Swiss company Orlikon, together with American Martin Marietta during 1979 to 1984. ADATS has a modular design, which allows it to be mounted on different types of tracked or wheeled vehicles supplied by the U.S. corporation Food Machinery and Chemical Corporation. For example, the version for the Canadian Army was made on the chassis of the M113 APC and the American prototype, which never went into mass production, on the chassis of the M3A1 Bradley APC. This system includes fail-safe communication and data transmission equipment, the friend or foe identification system, and a powerful radar capable of detecting airplanes and helicopters at a range of up to 25 kilometers and an altitude up to 7 kilometers. Ground-based armored targets, depending on the terrain, detected a range of up to 10 kilometers. In addition, it can follow up to six targets simultaneously. There are eight anti-aircraft guided missiles, MIM-146 with laser guidance, which can pierce up to 900 mm armor at Mach 3. Note that the Canadian version does not have the 25 mm automatic gun and 12.7 mm machine gun, which were planned to be installed on the American version. Well, that's all for me. Which missile launcher did you like the most? Or maybe I forgot to include another worthy contender. Share your thoughts in the comment below this video, and don't forget to give me a like and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you again soon.